Hey everybody, I just wanted to put this quick video together for any of the 4L ADE owners out there that have, you know, issues with their transmission or maybe they got a transmission back from the rebuild shop and it's not quite working right. Um, some issues that I found with mine with high mileage are the speed sensors, the wiring on both the front and back speed sensors on the transmission have had issues. I tried to look for color-coded wiring diagrams and through lots of trial and error and um, information online I found that the the front speed sensor has the colors it looks like green and red green with the red trace and blue with a white trace that's the front one you, you don't want to get the wires mixed up in the location because it is a twisted pair and it can cause the sensor to possibly read wrong um, same thing with the rear one rear one's a green dark green with a, a yellow trace and then this other one looks like it's a kind of a bluish color, bluish green. That goes to the rear one. Um, other issues that I've found and read about is the old style sensors, like this one I pulled out. Um, it's not completely, um, it's not, not solid plastic across there. And the oil gets in there and it causes the sensor to go bad. This is the old style. Um, the new style is this one here that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to install. Um, you put it in there and your wiring harness can pop in there. Another thing on these uh, speed sensors, um, it is, there is almost enough wiring that you can get those mixed up so it'll cause ratio code errors and other problems. These are the standard part numbers. This is the, the new sensor just to my right and then this is the uh, wiring harness that I got from O'Reilly's. Um, I replaced my electrical connection too. I thought there might have been a broken wire or something. Um, it ended up being something else inside the transmission. I'll show you that in just a sec. But um, I found that the wiring harness going into the transmission, the pins will get, I don't know if the pins kind of work loose or the, the heating and expansion and contraction of the other side of the connector will get, get loose and it'll leak oil into that connection and that'll cause a lot of issues too. Um, one thing that I found, I got my transmission back from, it actually wasn't mine, it was an exchange. And in the rear section of the transmission, so you have a speed sensor, that's your front location, this is your rear location. Um, and then there's an adapter plate and the um, transfer case that bolts on there. This Part number um, 845, that's a reluctor ring, and not every transmission has that, apparently. And the one I got back from my rebuilder doesn't have it. And that's what this rear speed sensor needs to operate, and it doesn't have it, and I need that in there to operate. So I contacted them, and hopefully they're going to be getting me one here soon. Um, if you look in the back here... You can look in that hole, and you can see that the I think that I believe it's the park pole back in there. You can see, and that's what it, the vehicle actually parks up off of. I believe somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no reluctor ring in there to run this sensor, and it needs to have it, and it's not there. And obviously, you can see there's been a little bit of oil leakage. If you run your oil level high it'll tend to leak out the, those pins but yeah alrighty thanks for watching hopefully I helped somebody out find whatever their problem may be thanks for watching